And new at 10, one North Texas university is going so far as to set up a dorm for quarantining students, retrofitting air conditioners to try and limit the spread of the virus if they get in that situation. Caroline Vandergrift, or Vandergrift reporting on the changes before students even arrive at UT Arlington. UTA's campus is quiet right now. But behind the scenes, the university has been preparing for months to welcome students back. Yeah, it's, uh, this is definitely going to be a semester like none other. The university is offering a mix of in-person, online, and hybrid courses this fall. Face masks will be required and social distancing enforced. It's not just necessarily protecting your own personal health, but also as you come to a university, you have a social responsibility to your peers and to your faculty and staff. Nearly 3,000 students have already signed contracts to live on campus for the semester. UTA does expect to see some coronavirus cases. Since March, 14 staff members and students have tested positive for the virus. This is just not the classroom part that you have to think about. You got to think about the bathrooms, you got to think about the food lines, you got to think about the dorms. UTA has set aside this dorm to use exclusively for students who may get COVID-19 and need a place to self-isolate. The university says they can then bring them food and health services here. Lipscomb Hall has about 300 beds. Every dining hall has been transformed to minimize contact and even the air conditioning systems reconfigured. So if there's any aerosol, they get taken out. UTA is confident it's prepared for a variety of possibilities, including the worst case scenario. The same group of people that built this plan for the reopening are also working on a plan of shutting it down if things get out of hand. Classes are set to start on August 26th. In Arlington, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.